check this out here is my chocolate sales chart and i can on or off any detail with a simple click how awesome is this this is a really simple thing to do and once you know the trick you can truly elevate your excel charts and dashboards in this video let me demonstrate how to use the checkbox feature in excel and how to link it to excel charts let's go to get started you need to go to the developer ribbon now the developer ribbon itself is not on by default so if you do not see this developer ribbon in your excel all you have to do is go to file options and customize the ribbon and from here make sure that you have ticked the developer ribbon option enabled so once you do that the developer ribbon will be added to your excel and this is a one-time step so from here on developer ribbon will be available to you once you have the developer ribbon let's quickly understand how to set up the checkbox so within the developer ribbon there will be many different areas but you are looking for the insert option and from here we can use the form controls notice that this is a bit confusing because you have got a checkbox right here and then there is a active x checkbox as well you want to pick the checkbox from the form control option so pick the checkbox your cursor will change into a plus icon draw a checkbox this will add a checkbox to your spreadsheet you can right click on the checkbox and go to format control and from here you can link it to a cell so i'm gonna link it to my cell here k3 now notice what happens to k3 as i click on this if i click on this k3 will say true if i uncheck it it will say false so you can think of this as the checkbox and the k3 cell are now married so I guess by the powers vested in me by the state of New York and the internet guys. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Whatever my checkbox says, that's what K3 will tell me. So using this mechanism, I can build some logic through which I can read what K3 says and then build the calculations. So that is really what I have done here. If I disable amount, I no longer see the amount column. If I enable, I see it on the chart. Let me explain how to build this graph using the checkboxes now. To begin with, I'm going to put our sales information here. Notice that we have three different columns of sales information. I know the amount, profit and the units. Next up, I'm going to create three mirror columns. And in these columns, I want to print amount, profit or units if they are enabled. Let's put these in blue color so we can tell them apart. We'll set up an area on top of that. And in this area, we will capture the status of checkboxes. So we do need three different checkboxes. To insert the checkbox, I'll go to the developer ribbon, insert checkbox and then just add a checkbox. We need three of them so i'll just control c control v so that we have all the three checkboxes the first checkbox right click on it format control and then cell link should be here on this cell we'll repeat the process for the second and third checkboxes so now let's just quickly test this if i check all three everything will say true uncheck 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 awesome to change the wording on the checkboxes, you can right click and then say edit text and then just type what you want. So I'm going to say this should be my amount profit units. Now based on what it says here, I want to either get the value from the amount column or print NA. NA means the chart will not show that information. So we can use the if formula for this. If this value f6 because it will always be in row number six i'm going to lock this reference as f dollar six and then select this value so if f6 is true i will get the c8 value else i want n a we'll close all the brackets and then copy paste this formula all over right now everything is going to be n a because all the checkboxes are false we can quickly test this amount profit and units Let's quickly apply some of the formatting as well. I want the formatting just like here. So I will select this range, go to home, format painter and apply the formatting so that we'll get the similar formatting here as well. Next up, 
we will pick all of these three columns the blue ones and then insert a column chart we'll get a nice little column chart here I'll just move this down there the next step is we don't want the units to be on the same axis as sales and profit so right click on the units little column change series chart type and from units to the clustered column I will change that to a line on the secondary axis so that we'll get a mixed chart like this with amount and profit as two different columns and units as a line chart you can change the colors of all of these things for now I'm not gonna bother with that instead let's just test the mechanism here so first up I'm going to uncheck amount notice that my blue bars are gone next we will uncheck profit the profit is also gone units now the chart is empty we can add any combination of the values to the chart to show them of course the chart sucks so let's make it awesome so the biggest trick here is you want to put these checkboxes right inside the chart or next to them so that they all behave together let's just do that We'll begin by first setting up the correct legend on the chart it does say one two three four five six whereas we want them to read as october to march so right click on the chart select data and then from horizontal category access labels edit and point to this range the axis looks good next up we don't need this legend we are going to make our own legend so i'll delete that legend and then i will move the chart title all the way to the left and then just type the chart title next I want to move these checkboxes on to the chart even though I want to put them there the chart kind of goes into the front so we can just push the chart back by right clicking on the chart send to back and then send it all the way to the back so that the checkboxes are on the top layer that looks better since we have removed the legend we don't really know what each color means so it's a good idea to color these words unfortunately when you edit the text we are not able to color these things the color that you have is always black so another option here is we can put some boxes around it and then color code them to do that go to insert ribbon click on shape and insert a rounded rectangle let's add a rounded rectangle here this blue color matches our amount blue color here so we just have to place it there this box now overlaps the checkbox so we just have to send it back a few times that looks good we'll repeat the process for profit and units finally we will adjust the alignment of everything that looks nice and pretty and now we are able to on or off things we can also adjust the columns and the line formatting and you will end up with something that looks a little bit more toned down and pretty like this. So this is how you can create a checkbox dynamic chart in Excel and this is a great asset to have for your dashboards and reports. Do tell me how you are implementing this particular trick in your work using the comments box. But we are not done. Another way to elevate your charts is to highlight the important bits or the top five elements. Here is a video that talks about that particular trick. I'll catch you there. Bye-bye.